Which cryptocurrency should I invest in 2021, and why? There are a number of cryptocurrencies you can consider. I personally prefer to keep my investment portfolio distributed across multiple cryptocurrencies. It's obviously a rare opportunity to get to invest in any high-grossing asset class at their lowest when most people have given up on it. I'll be listing a few cryptocurrencies. I can assure you that if you put your money in them, you'll be smiling at your wallets by the end of the year 2021. They may not appreciate 100 times compared to their current price, but they'll do way better than a whole lot of their counterparts. Bitcoin BTC. It's the market leader. One would be crazy not to recognize that any good, positive that'll happen to the crypto markets this year will mostly start with BTC, which will then influence other cryptos because of its over 50% market dominance. Coupled with the Lightning Network, which has improved the system, the Bitcoin ETF is also most likely to be approved this year by the SEC. The influence of the BACT will also be felt positively. Ethereum ETH. The second largest crypto by market cap, it's been affected by the decline in acceptance and performance of ICOs who are the primary users of Ether, its cryptocurrency. However, Ethereum has significant and crucial partnerships in place to drive the company to the peak. Their blockchain is also laudable and has made it possible for other cryptocurrencies to leverage on it for their launch before most of them went the main net. Apart from the very low transaction fees, Ethereum was the first to introduce smart contracts as well and would be a front-runner when the next crypto boom starts. Your money should be on Ethereum in 2021. EOS. It addresses some shortcomings of the Ethereum network. To develop a dApp on Ethereum, you need to use Solidity, a programming language for smart contracts, which is a barrier to the use of the Ethereum network. EOS overcomes this by providing some services to developers, including database and account management services, which do not require programming knowledge. EOS has other technological strong points, as well. It is faster and more scalable than Ethereum. Where the Ethereum network requires users to pay TXN fees, EOS does not need TXN fees as a centralized group of 21 gatekeepers approves transactions. EOS also has enormous and enthusiastic community support, and for a good reason, the coin is not mined. Instead, block producers are voted in by the community. Finally, EOS recently completed a successful token sale and has the capital to develop its full potential. I am confident EOS will be a profitable investment in 2021 and beyond. Buy some now. XRP. Backed by a company with the same name, Ripple has recently been in the news for its widespread adoption by several companies. Even reputed institutions like MIT now accept Ripple as a legitimate form of payment. Its merit as an efficient payment protocol, as well as its myriad partnerships, has only served to prepare it for a brighter year ahead. It has already partnered with large banks around the world, and more financial institutions are moving to adopt the Ripple protocol. This institutional support and the fact it is safe from SEC regulation are why I believe XRP will finish the year on a high. Better buy some now XLM, which has many similarities with Ripple, has not done too poorly for itself. It is a payment protocol that seeks to achieve humanitarian aims and is enjoying increasing levels of adoption. Stellar has been signing new partnerships this year with different companies in the space. Now, the intention is to keep growing working with corporations such as IBM, which according to data provided by them, 90% of credit card transactions are processed using IBM mainframes, and 97% of the banks around the world are IBM clients. I believe Stellar represents a substantial investment in 2021. TRX. Why consider Tron? It recently acquired BitTorrent, which allows for developing safe, decentralized torrenting methods in the future. For example, such innovations can help to distribute files across a network and reassemble them for user downloading. Another one of Tron's advantage is that it's one of a few ERC-20 tokens that have made it to mainnet. Although Tron's growth isn't as rapid as Ethereum's, it's a good investment for traders with a shoestring budget. Zek. The morality of darknet markets is not an interesting debate for me. However, the fact Zek is secure and sought out by people who want their purchases to remain private, adds value to the coin from an investment perspective. This value will only deepen as darknet markets continue to grow. The Zcash development team also recently published technical improvements they claim will reduce the memory consumption of transaction privacy by 98%. It's a good one for me Litecoin. Started in 2011, 
Litecoin is modeled on the Bitcoin framework and was the idea of a Google employee named Charlie Lee. The USP of Litecoin is that it processes a block every 2.5 minutes, thus making it a much faster means of processing transactions. It has done well amidst the crypto market meltdown and is still the preferred mode of payment for many, I don't think this year will be any different, which explains its inclusion in my list. ADA. The Cardano cryptocurrency may also be enjoying a good run this year, owing to its superior technological advancements over Ethereum in making smart contracts and DAP, decentralized applications, execution more scalable and secure. It's growing at a steady pace and very affordable for investors with smaller budgets. BNB. Last on the least is the Binance coin owned by the Binance Exchange, which is arguably the largest and most preferred exchange in the crypto space. Binance Coin has high liquidity and is one of the assets which are superior in cryptocurrency trading. Even with the 2018 crypto meltdown, the exchange was still expected to make about $1 billion in profits, which shows how good the company is financial. However, if you're more interested in short-term investments and would instead invest your crypto assets for more gains with the help of someone else or a reputable platform, you can use the Autocoin Invest platform. Offers of up to 100% return on your investments, and it takes just a week for your investments to mature, and when they're available for withdrawal. I am an active user, as well. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. There are several types of online exchanges. The first is the traditional exchange, which operates much like a conventional stock exchange. In a conventional exchange, the platform acts as a middleman to facilitate trades based on the current market price. These platforms typically support themselves through small fees, taking a percentage of each transaction. On a standard exchange, you don't know who you're trading with. The exchange matches you and acts as an intermediary, making the exchange anonymous. Crypto Care Foundation CCF, is a non-profit organization dedicated to achieving global sustainable development by unlocking the power of blockchain. We develop and test viable solutions that address the root cause of social problems to guide people out of the poverty trap. We hope the transparency and inclusiveness of the blockchain donation system will trigger donors' willingness to participate and motivate end beneficiaries to fundamentally improve their living conditions. Direct trading exchanges, or peer-to-peer -peer networks, allow for direct transfer between buyers and sellers. In these networks, individuals agree on their own prices independent of the current market value. In a peer-to-peer -peer model, you generally have some data on the person you're trading with. You might know their wallet address, public ID, username, or even meet them in person. Peer-to-online peer platform simply provides an online space through which to meet other crypto owners and list or arrange trades. In a peer-to-peer -peer trade, trust is very important and is often established by trader history. Peer-to-peer -peer trades are less anonymous, but also don't require you to reveal your personal data to a centralized corporation and can be quick, low-cost options. Best Peer-to-Peer -peer Cryptocurrency Option The most well-known and popular peer-to-peer -peer crypto trading option is the Cash App. The Cash App was created by Squaresoft. The Cash App makes it very easy to purchase Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency and use it to pay for goods and services. Probably the best feature of the Cash App is that you can purchase Bitcoin without paying trading fees. You can also use the app to pay people in regular dollars, similar to Venmo, PayPal, and other payment apps. The Cash App is available on Apple and Android phones. Cash App is currently offering new users a $5 sign-up bonus. What are some of the risks of an exchange? Because cryptocurrency and its surrounding technology are relatively new, legislation protecting and regulating their exchange hasn't yet stabilized. Online platforms operate in a further, digitized Wild West in which the majority of the risk is borne by consumers rather than platforms. The most infamous risk factor is security. Since 2009, nearly $4 billion worth of cryptocurrency has been stolen from online platforms. The majority of these coins are unrecoverable, and many consumers have yet to be, or never will be, compensated for their losses following these incidents. In addition to the danger a hacker could pose, the exchanges are businesses and can go bankrupt without warning. 
Some have historically tried to artificially inflate their publicized number of daily trades to manipulate their ranking or closed unexpectedly, taking consumer currency with them. Given the currently uncertain climate regarding governmental regulation around the world, regulation could also be a potential risk factor. Unlike the blockchain, exchanges have particular geographic locations and are more easily subject to local law. Some analysts believe that the early 2018 downturn in coin prices is partially the result of world governments cracking down on cryptocurrency trading. Coins prices are incredibly volatile and susceptible to flash crashes. If an exchange's platform goes down during a price shock, or is too slow, traders can be stuck for hours or days holding currency they want to sell. Unlike stock markets, which are strictly regulated, digital coin exchanges aren't required to halt trading during price swings. In all of these cases, exchanges are governed by often ambiguous laws which do not reliably favor consumers. Some of the issues avoided by cryptocurrencies decentralization, therefore, come back into play in exchanges. Is there a safe way for me to protect my cryptocurrency in an exchange? Put simply you should not keep much of your coinage in the exchange when not actively trading. They are meant to be trading platforms, not banks. Move your coins off the exchange and into your own wallet as soon as you can, when you are not actively trading them. Spending your hard-earned cryptocurrency in the real world is comfortable with the right wallet. When you do use an exchange, make sure to choose your platform carefully and consider decentralized options or peer-to-peer -peer blockchain verified transactions instead of the more user-friendly platforms. The pros and cons of some of the most popular and trusted direct and traditional exchanges currently in operation are as follow. Top cryptocurrency exchanges We provide a brief overview of the top exchanges. We will periodically expand this list to reflect market changes. Coinbase is by far the best known of the stock market like trading platforms. It takes the US credit cards and bank transfers and allows you to exchange US dollar or cryptocurrency for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash through the platform. It charges a small fee per trade, varies depending on the currency, but currently 1.5% for Bitcoin sales and 0.25% for transfers. The most common criticism of Coinbase is that it invades the privacy of its users, something disliked by many crypto enthusiasts. Trading on Coinbase requires an account registered with significant personal financial information. It can track how you use their coins and has historically shut down accounts involved in a variety of transactions, including a legal darknet exchange, but also potentially more arbitrary reasons. It also has ambiguous ties to the banking industry and has come under fire for its relatively institutionalized motives. However, these attributes also make it less vulnerable to government shutdowns, and its security features are robust. Only 2% of its coin holdings are exposed to the internet at one time, and it ensures Bitcoin stored on the platform against theft for up to $250,000. Its more advanced features, like GDAX, are designed for experienced traders, but its primary functions have the most user-friendly interface of any platform, and its user interface is straightforward to set up and use. It's often recommended for beginners for this reason. Kraken was another new platform, founded in 2011. It allows you to buy, sell, trade Bitcoin as well as Litecoin, Dogecoin, Ripple, Stellar, Lumens, Monero, Ethereum, and many others. It supports many currency pairs, for example, US dollar with Ripple, Monero with Yen, etc., and supports more fiat currencies than Coinbase. It takes credit card and bank transfers of fiat currency and charges significantly lower transaction and deposit fees than Coinibs. Overall, it has an excellent reputation in the crypto community. Kraken's worldwide reach is better than Coinbase, and it offers a number of trading features, including margin trading. While its platform is much more robust, it is also confusing and counterintuitive. There is no mobile support, the website can be slow to process trades, and their customer support has a mixed reputation. In short, Kraken is a good option for experienced traders, especially those operating outside of the US, but is not as suitable for beginners. Polynex is a US-based company and has one of the highest volumes of trade of any exchange. It supports margin trading and allows trades of over 90 pairs. It doesn't accept fiat currencies, however. To use this exchange, you would need to purchase Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies elsewhere and then transfer them to a wallet on the platform. Its user interface is simple but relatively straightforward. 
Its fees are meager, less than 0.25%, and it has an excellent security reputation and history. However, their customer service is notoriously bad. There are anecdotal examples of support tickets waiting for 90 days or more. Withdrawing funds can be difficult with Polynex as well. Some have expected months to do this. Their terms of service also prohibit class action lawsuits against the platform and give them the unilateral ability to terminate your account for any reason. Privacy is also a concern. They use a tiered approach in which each level of trading requires you divulge more personal information. The more you want to trade, the more information you have to reveal. If low fees are your priority, this might be an option, but Kraken provides a similar service with a better community reputation. So here you have it folks. Tell me in the comment section below, what is your favorite cryptocurrency for 2021 and beyond? This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.